You guys, this is very important. Not really. I've been doing a new at-home coffee recipe, and I'm gonna show you. This is what you'll need. Right, we're gonna start off by getting ice. Next, you're gonna add your coffee of preference. I'm going with this one today. Fill that bad boy up. All right, this is the new step I've been doing. I've been adding a splash of chocolate milk, low fat. Then we're gonna hit it with a dash of this caramel cream. And then you top it off with a little bit. She's looking pretty. I'm gonna hit it with a little stir action. Put a lid on her. All right, taste test. Cheers. Oh, there's a perfect balance of all three flavors. I really want to get that thing to make cold foam. Is it worth the seven dollars from Target? Most definitely. Am I lazy and haven't gotten it? Yes. Hey everyone. So today I decided to do a vanilla hazelnut cold brew with coffee from Coffee Over Cardio. So I pulled out their cold brew maker, and if you don't have one of these, you can use a French press. My friend Espresso Bard did a video on this, and I'll tag her in the comments. So I filled up the middle part with coffee grounds, and then I filled the base with water. Not too much so it doesn't overflow, but just enough so I have a lot. And then I put that in the fridge for about 36 hours, and that is my cold brew. I also decided to do a hazelnut cold foam, so I used sweet cream creamer, heavy whipping cream, and hazelnut syrup. Froth with that. And then put out my favorite glass, put in some ice, put in the cold brew, topped it off with my cold foam. I had way too much, but it was still good. Enjoy. Target, which is a little bit like that. Now we're gonna add this Ghirardelli caramel sauce. 